In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts to your Elementor website, also platforms where you can get free custom fonts to use in your designs, but most importantly, how to generate font pairs that can work and look great in your web design projects. If that is something that interests you, let's jump straight into the video. Inside my dashboard, I'll come to Elementor and there is an option called custom fonts. Click over there. To add custom fonts, you simply click over here to add a new font. Question is, where can you get custom fonts from? There are a variety of font platforms that you can download fonts to use in your Elementor website. There is one called dafont.com. You can browse fonts as well from Google. You can as well get custom fonts from Adobe. And another platform which is 1001 fonts, where you can as well search and download fonts to use freely in your Elementor website. Alright, I have already chosen and selected this font called Whiskey Girls from the font.com platform. I've downloaded it already on my computer and I'll simply come back here to my Elementor website under the custom font option. I'll give my new fonts a name or a font family. This is called Whiskey Girls. I'll add a variation or the first variation. As you see over here, my font has a lot of variations but I'm only going to use two variations out of this. And to identify which variation and its name, you simply open up one of the fonts and you see the name of that variation. In this case, this is Whiskey Girls 3D. I'll get back into my uploader or font uploader in Elementor. I'll upload the font, navigate and locate the font face and upload it. Select the font file. And now we have our TFT font uploaded into our Elementor website. Font extensions may vary and may have other font faces with a different extension like this over here, SVG font or EOT files font files. All right, now I've already uploaded my first variation and this is a regular font and it's having a normal style. I'm going to publish or update and you'll see a preview over here of that same font which is this i'm going to add a variation and i'll come down here to our tft file format i'll upload come over here to the uploader and select from my files i'll upload this variation called whiskey girls laser open it select the file i'll leave everything over here to normal i'll add the third variation it's a tft file and in this case, I'm going to bring an italic font, this over here. I'll upload, select the file that I've uploaded and under weight, I'll change this to 500. And the style is a combination of italics and oblique. So I can choose one of the two. So I'm going to use oblique and I'm going to say update. Now I have my custom font uploaded to Elementor and with different variations. All right now I'm going to go back into my Elementor editor. I'll reload this page. I'm going to select this title or heading. I'll come to the style option under typography. I'll come and look up for my Whiskey Girls font. You see, it's now falling under the custom font option and it's showing up here. So I'll select that. The rest of the styles over here work as they should, but it also depends on the font that you uploaded. In this case, we cannot transform our font face to lowercase because the type of font we uploaded is only in uppercase so that will stay on the default the noticeable change that you can observe here is the style because we have a normal and an oblique font style so when i choose oblique you see that now our font changes to the oblique styles just like you see over right here back inside our editor so i want to leave it to be normal i can change the color of the font and i can as well increase the font size here to match my needs I can go ahead and apply the same font that I uploaded or the custom font that I uploaded over to these other sections. By selecting that widget under style typography, I'll look up for my whiskey girls. I'll change the color as well. And I'm now going to copy the style and I'll paste the same style over here. Paste style and paste style. So we can go ahead and apply the same changes to all the sections on our website using our custom font. When now I update and I go to preview this page, 
You see that now our custom font is applied to our heading and our other heading widgets in this other section. You are not limited to adding only one custom font. You can as well add another custom font, for example, edit, add a new font. The font I want to add is called Sticky Notes. Add a variation. I'll first of all upload my font. I'll come to Uploads, select the file. Because our font face is only having one font style, so I'm going to leave this here on normal and I'm going to publish. Now you realize that we have two custom fonts that have been uploaded to our website and this has three variations and the last one has only one variation. I'll reload the Elementor editor. I'll select my text editor here, come to style, under typography I'll change this to my custom font which is called sticky notes. It also shows up over here in the custom font section. I'll select it and I'll increase a bit on the font size. I'll reduce on the line height and I'll copy this style. I'll paste it to all the others and I'll update and I'll preview my home page now. Now we've added another custom font called sticky notes and we applied it to our text widgets and here it shows up. Now we have looked into how we can add custom fonts to our Elementor website and where you can actually get custom fonts from. But the big question is how do you pair together fonts that will look great in your designs and look great also for your website visitors. And that's where I want to talk about an interesting tool called FontJoy. FontJoy is a free website you can access and generate font pairs that you can use either for your headings, your titles and your website content. For example, when I click over here on generate, you realize that I have now a font pair of these three fonts. The first font over here, the second font here and the last font which is the content font. And you can as well get the font names over here. I love this website because it saves you the headache of trying to figure out which font is going to work with each other font. And in most cases as web designers, we spend a lot of time trying to search for fonts that you can pair up with each other to work and look great in your designs. So in this case, now I have this font pair for the heading. This is Railway. The next for the subheadings, I'm seeing Roboto. And the last one for the content, I'm seeing Lustria and they are also available in Elementor because also Elementor echoes Google Fonts into the Elementor editor. Hopefully this video brought you value and now you know how to add custom fonts in your Elementor website, get free custom fonts across the web and also generate awesome font pairs to be used in your web designs. In case you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.